Happy birthday. You better talk good, son. Because for the moment, I've got quite a bad opinion about you. I respect your business, Mr. Tony. Anything we've ever asked you to do, you've always delivered for us. And it's right I'm nervous now. So I hope you'll forgive my temporary bad mood. Then... <laughs> Take me to Pork. Do you recognise him? Even his mother wouldn't. Now, I'm going to make you an offer. You get to keep your 12 grand. And you tell your shit through cleaner, call back, and that the hit is cancelled. See, the man to be clipped is my boss. And he's a good boss. And I like working for him. And he lets me work the way I want. It's easy then. And you get to keep your 12 grand. And that ain't so bad, is it? See, son, this kind of hitman, they come, they disappear, they come from nowhere. They're lonely, worse than wolves. May we have this wolf's uh, name and address? These guys have no place. They change virtually every day, and his name, it's a surname. Okay. Take me the children. Now, I'll make you a deal. You tell me which one you love the least, and I'll kill him first. You know, boy, I don't think their parents will appreciate this sense of humor that you have. Oh, really? If you touch them, you'll have hitmen, every one of them in this city, on your ass. Hmm. Okay. Risky. <laughs> Did you know him? Good, he had no family. Now come on, give me some answers, or else I'll have to ruin your little birthday party. Listen, Leon, Leon Montana. I know he's in a small hotel in Noho. I don't know where, Houston Street, I think. I can't tell you no more. Even if you kill the whole neighborhood. Hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Tony. Justice will be grateful for your precious collaboration. Now. Do you want me to call the police about our little incident here? Good. <laughs>